so this video is kind of overdue but um I'm just going to make a quick video explaining why the modern day Bible versions like the NIV and the ESV are corrupt. So here we have the Nestle's Aland 27th edition of the Greek text and it is an Alexandrian type Greek text which is known to be corrupt but in this particular edition there is a very peculiar thing in the introduction which reads the text shared by these two editions was adopted internationally by Bible societies and following an agreement between the Vatican, the Vatican, and the United Bible Societies. It has served as a basis for new translations and for revisions made under their supervision, their supervision being the Vatican and United Bible Societies. This marks a significant step with regard to interconfessional relationships. So here we see that the Greek text that underlies all the new modern Bible versions was made by the Vatican. This is why these Bibles are corrupt, people. These Bibles are not Protestant Bibles. They are Vatican-made Bibles. Or in other words, they're Roman Catholic Bibles. That's why the ESV has a Roman Catholic edition. The Roman Catholic Church will never recommend the King James Bible because it destroys all of their teachings. And for many other various reasons. But I just want to put this quick video together to explain why this thing is corrupt and why all Bibles that are made from this junk are corrupt. So I just want to add this last part in. Um, there are many, many other reasons as to why the modern English Bibles are corrupt. Um, and it's not just because of their Greek text, even though that's the primary reason. And also, you know, they have two Greek texts that underlie modern versions, which is the UBS and this Nestle's Aland. Even though, you know, they say the same things, but they don't, but they do say the same things, either way, they're corrupt because they're both Alexandrian-type Greek text. Uh, and this is why, you know, there's only one type of Greek text primarily that underlines the King James Bible, and that's the Textus Receptus, or the Received Text. Uh, I will link a playlist, or a playlist, in the description that goes further into why the King James Bible is the only perfect, inerrant, preserved Word of God in English. But, please people, do your research. Pray about the Bible version issue. This is a serious, serious thing that all Christians need to know and understand. You get, you know, these pastors and men of God and, you know, these scholars that come out and straight up lie to you and say that all modern English Bibles say and mean the same things that is a bold face lie some of the modern versions are missing 16 whole verses 16 whole verses are out of modern Bibles but then they do that thing where it's like see it's down here in the footnotes footnotes are not scripture and then that creates a problem if the footnote is right and the text is wrong, well then the whole Bible's wrong then because the text is wrong and the footnote is right. And then it's vice versa sometimes, where the text is right but then the footnote's wrong. This is confusion, people. God is not the author of confusion. Satan is the one that's the author of confusion. And the Bible is Satan's primary target is to undermine the Word of God. We can't be naive or foolish about this, people. Times are dark now. Times are real dark. And as it says in the book of Jude, that we have to contend for the faith. And the Bible is the foundation of our faith. And Satan seeks to destroy that and undermine it as best as he could. And you got to remember... Satan appears as the angel of light, so it's no marvel that his ministers appear as the ministers of righteousness. With that being said, beware of any pastor or scholar or you know man of God that 
promotes and pushes new Bible versions and will lie to you and say that they all say and mean the same thing when they don't. When they don't. They don't. So please, people, perform 2 Timothy 2.15 and study to show thyself approved unto God. Not study to show thy pastor, not study to show thy scholar, not study to show thy neighbor, study to show thyself, thyself approved unto God. That's it. Thank you for watching.